Back now on Try Today, and we have a familiar visitor with us. You saw him last month on the program as we sort of found out about his uh, background and personal life and got to know Dr. Jared Sandiford. He's an orthopedic surgeon with Northern Orthopedics in Mount Airy. And now we're going to talk about some things like sports injuries, treating them, preventing them, that kind of thing. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, how prevalent are sports injuries? Uh, we see we see lots of sports injuries. Um, you know, I'll see them every day. I usually see somebody with a sports-related injury. Uh, that includes young athletes, uh, you know, playing high school or college uh, sports, and you know, middle-aged folks that are doing recreational activities or weekend warriors. Is it well? I know you said weekend warriors, but is it mainly just young people, or mainly just athletes, or to old guys like me? You know, we get orthopedic injuries too because we want to go out and play tennis and haven't played tennis in 40 years. Yeah. I mean, what, what's going on? Yeah, exactly. All age groups, you know. We even see a lot of pickleball injuries, and you know, a lot of folks that are um, older really enjoy pickleball, and so we see a lot of injuries from that as well. So, What are the most common orthopedic injuries you see through sports or any kind of outdoor activity or whatever? What, what do you see a lot of? Mm -hmm. Give me a few examples. Yeah, so I think some of the... Um, Younger athletes that are, you know, high school and college level, uh, some of the injuries we see from them are like shoulder dislocations with labral injuries, ACL tears, meniscus tears, um, problems with uh, dislocating kneecaps or things like that. <clears throat> How do you determine if surgery is necessary for something, though? It sort of depends on the injury. Um, you know, there's some injuries where we'd say it's probably best to do surgery for them. Um, but it's also a discussion with the patient, what their goals are, their age, their activity, what they like to do, really decide, you know, what's best for them. Uh, give me an example of a couple different types of surgeries. I mean, is everything really invasive or do you have things that are less invasive or what? Yeah, so I did a sports medicine fellowship and really enjoy specializing in sort of a minimally invasive type surgery. Um, particularly shoulders, hips, and knees. Um, so we can do several kinds of surgeries for like shoulder instability or knee instability, minimally invasive, um, in order to get patients back faster through their activities or their work. So recovery time with some of these newer uh, types of less invasive surgery, what recovery time do you look at for a typical surgery? Also depends on the type of injury, um, you know, for like a meniscus tear in a knee, if we just do the minimally invasive surgery, it could be just a couple of weeks of recovery. Um, but something for like an ACL tear that we do surgery for um, can take eight, eight, nine, close to a year of, of recovery. All right. Doc, before I let you get away, do, do would I need a referral to see you guys at Northern Orthopedics or to call for an appointment, or do we need to go through our, our normal physician? Uh, so typically you would go through your normal physician, your primary care doctor, and if they felt um, like you needed to see an orthopedic surgeon, then they would send you a referral to see us. Okay, now up on screen, you can get more information about Northern Orthopedics by calling area code 336-719-011. That's 719-011. You can also uh, visit, this is the General Hospital uh, website, choosenorthern.org. That's choosenorthern.org. And uh, any tips you want to give anybody about uh, of any age about getting ready to do an activity as far as warm-up or exercise or whatever, any, what would you like to leave us with? Yeah, you bet. So uh, it's best to prevent injuries. You mentioned that earlier, Jim. I think that's, um, you know, the key to avoid seeing me <laughs> as is try to warm up, do some stretching and some exercise uh, before you go into whatever activity or sport that you're going to do. Um, I think it's beneficial for at least, you know, five, ten minutes of a warm up before you do that activity, uh, and that'll help prevent injuries. My final question is, my wife gives me a lot of chores to do. Can you write me a note that says I don't have to do them? Anytime, Jim. Just let me know. I love this guy. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you very much. All right. You take care. Right. We'll be right back after this.